guys welcome back to the channel as you can see we are at bryce here in base base virginia but yeah as you see i'm not hot sweaty i've already been on the gt riding today and now we're going to take out the dirt jumper so that was my main point today was bringing this to see how it would do at a downhill park now i've already taken the gt like i said and been having a lot of fun me and my friend ray are here today he's back here um, and yeah, so we're just out having fun if you're new to the channel. So this is the dirt jumper It's a 2021 Octane one Zircus frame uh, Halo wheels McGurr rear brake uh, 26 spank components Cinema BMX seat just a little bit of an overview DMR pedals on descendant cranks and yeah, so it's got it's got one brake 26 inch wheels and it's probably the most rigid thing that I own so let's take it to the lift and let's see how it does all right guys again I'm on my dirt jumper at a downhill park again this is my friend Ray I hope you don't mind being on camera and he's taking out his new proof scout hardtail too so we're both riding hardtails but he's got a little more suspension than me so let's jump on the lift and let's see how this thing does see y'all later yeah All right, guys, so this is taking the dirt jumper down brew through. Holy crap. And it is stiff. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, I need suspension. <laughs> this is awful. Guys, this, this is a 100 mil. Ah, Manitou fork that is completely stiff. The jumps feel good, it's just the terrain. Awful. Ah. The tires are at 30 psi. We're trying to see how that does. Gearing is not right for this. It's so bumpy. Ah. Ah. I'm white knuckling it. Oh. On the way. Oh my gosh. Ah. Pickle bomb or to car bomb. Ah. And then a the big drop. Oh boy. Let's do it. Alright guys, so this is pickleback on the dirt jumper. So this is one of their black trails here. Some of the bigger jumps and stuff like that and let's just see how it how it does so far so good it handles well it's just a chunk it doesn't like chunk whoa a little sideways on that one
my god! One break. <laughs> oh God, bumpy. Uh, uh, Jesus. Ah. Dude, this chunk is awful with this bike. bit of a train down it on the dirt jumper <laughs> Woo! Whoa. Well guys, thanks again for watching my Bryce video as I was taking my dirt jumper there. I knew at the beginning of the season that I was like, I gotta take the dirt jumper there just to see how it would do. And as you can tell, it went really well. I had a really big goal for myself this year and that was to hit the hooch drop and clear a bunch of the step ups, I'm sorry, a bunch of the tables at Bryce. And hooch has checked off the list this early in the season, so I'm super excited. I've progressed a whole lot through just over, you know, over the year. Uh, ever since I cracked my rib um, at OG in Carvin's Cove, I've really kind of made myself think about 
you know what I'm doing more and stuff like that as you can tell the dirt jumper was super fun to take very very rough again that's a 100 millimeters worth of travel but it is pretty much locked out I maybe use about 30 millimeters worth of the travel so it's pretty much nothing and you know I'm riding on really you know slick tires and stuff like that as you can see I had my blooper reel coming into the hooch drop I was just slick tires and that's really smooth wood now I'm just so focused I forgot to brake and it almost wasn't good that's a good 10 10 foot drop to the ground but yeah I'm super excited about you know what's to come dirt jumper was great there I had a little bit of an issue with the GT so I'm gonna get that fixed and uh, I don't know we'll probably follow up with that and explain what happened but yeah guys thanks for joining me at Bryce on my dirt jumper I hope you enjoyed get out there and have a good time we'll catch you later